If your boyfriend likes photos and videos of girls with huge butts on the internet, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Michaela. I have a fat butt. And I will happily block your boyfriend if you ask me. But that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to tell you the story of how I got like this. Because I'm just like you. By the way, I have clay all over me. But my ex-boyfriend would like photos of Jeanette Guzman, the Instagram model. I think he actually only liked like five photos total. But when I discovered this, and we had just started dating, when I discovered this, I would cry every night. I would devalue myself. I have BPD, by the way. I would devalue myself. I am not good enough. I am not a good enough person because I don't have a fat butt. And I don't have every single surgery that Jeanette Guzman has, so I'm not good enough. And this went on for a long time. I was very insecure and I became very, very sad and I just hated who I was. I hated myself. So what did I do? I tried everything in the books. I tried everything I possibly could do to look like Jeanette Guzman. And I think I've done a pretty good job. I think I did a decent job. But now, now this dude is gone. And apparently his type is completely freaking different to anything I am. So I did all this for nothing. You're telling me I got surgery that I can't reverse. Just for the man to go have a different type. No, that's on you. That's on you. Let me tell you a little something. Your ex-boyfriend was looking at pictures and liking pictures of who with a big butt. Cool. You decided to look at that. It's like if I was looking at my girl's prawn history and she likes dude with humongous I'm talking about 12, 15. I don't have a 12, 15 inch. I don't. I absolutely don't. And then I proceed to, no, man, that's a fantasy. If the person's with you and he likes other things, it doesn't mean that it's exactly that. What, what was it? That's her. That's the girl that she was looking at. Jeanette Guzman. You could imagine your uh, Instagram. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's mm -hmm. like, it's just, you doing all those changes is not, you doing all those changes to, to pleasure your mm -hmm. boy is not on your boy. It's on you. It's, it's on you. Okay? Him liking those pictures while he's going out with you. Oh, it fucks up with your self-esteem and stuff like that. I can understand that. But it's, let's just, let's just say it loud and listen to yourself when you say it. Self-esteem. It's yours. It's yours. It's your self-esteem. All right? And if he likes those pictures and that's a fetish or that's a fantasy, it stays a fantasy. All right? It doesn't mean that that's what he wants or whatever. That's exactly what he craved. No, he likes the picture. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying my girl doesn't want me to become a vampire? No. <laughs> no, that's actually what I, I'm, I'm saying. Yep. So all yeah. those girls who were, like, getting super wet over the Vampire Diaries or Twilight, Don't I wasn't act... supposed to change into looking like them? Did you? I'm just wondering. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. That, that's why I'm... It's liking. It's, it's a fantasy. Yep. The same way some of you women, even though you're super feminist, fantasize about a whole bunch of shit that are not so feminist when you're in the sheets. True. And that's fine. It doesn't mean that's what you want in real life. True. It stays in the realm of fantasy. Doesn't mean I don't have to not like it. There's fan fiction of whatever, what not. That doesn't mean it has to happen. True. So for you to take that and change your whole body and that that your, your, your ex is gone and then he likes something different and you still blaming for that, mental health. Whoa. I don't, I don't think it's that abnormal. <clears throat> I think... Um, we we'll probably see like beauty standards changing, and if you have insecurities in yourself already off the top, and you yeah. see your boyfriend is looking at those kinds of women, and you're uncertain and you're insecure, stands to reason that you might think he wants someone like that. Yeah, but why do women feel that way? If you look, if I t you take the girls that you, if you look at the guys that your girl like, we would not be happy. Any, do I fucking look like Brad Pitt? You know what I would have to do and endure to fucking remotely look like Brad Pitt? I can't do that. I'm not going to change. If I see my girl liking a picture of Brad Pitt, I can't be like, I'm going to look, I'm going to be Brad Pitt and change my hair blonde. And that's fucked. Yeah, but okay. Here's an example. But dude got a small dick and you get with a girl. She's like, no, small dicks are fine. But she's looking at dicks with big, big dicks. 
yeah, the dude's probably going to be terribly insecure. Probably if they, and I know plenty of dudes, if they could, they would change it in a heartbeat. I can understand that. You know, so those whole ideas and insecurities and then going for what you think your partner actually wants based off what they like online isn't far-fetched. But if, if I understand that, but if you go for it, you can't blame, you took the decision. I have a hard time blaming the other person for like, yeah, I just. I, I agree with you. I did, I did this whole dick thing for you. No, you wanted a dick. You wanted a dick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if she's actually blaming him. I think she's just saying, you know, like, oh, so you changed. So, like, this whole thing, what was the point of it? I don't think she actually blamed him. If she's saying, now this guy has a totally, I'm not with this guy, and uh, he has a totally different uh, uh, type, so I did all this for nothing. Huh, yeah, you're mystery. kind of blaming, that's blame, that's you somehow, some way blaming him for some things. But anyway, this is, this is completely irreversible so the more weight i gain the fatter my butt gets and there's nothing i can do to stop it it is just constantly growing <sighs> and today i was getting bubble tea alicia would you want to tell them the story i was getting bubble tea today and some lady on drugs uh came up to me and was like so you like the way you look this is why young girls blah 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 blah, blah and just gave me the fat and i just burst into tears i bursted into tears because i was i was that young girl okay and i became this and this is not what I want to advertise to anyone. It's going to be so controversial, but people that do this to themselves are mentally ill. We, if we don't, if we say we don't, we're lying. Obviously not for everyone. But if you're in that boat, you know what boat I'm talking about. Cancel that surgery. Because one, the trend's going to be gone in a few years. Two, it hurts. It's very painful and costs a lot of money. And three, you will regret it because that man is going to be gone. And then you'll be stuck with a freaking dump truck that you can't get rid of and get screamed at on the street by old ladies on yeah i don't think she's nearly blaming him nearly as much she's as not she... only blaming him yeah you're right no, uh, it didn't sound like she's my she, bad she's being like i think what she's venting is like i did this for somebody and then he went off and changed his type like what was the point of everything i did maybe he didn't change his type <clears throat> maybe maybe but i think what she's basically saying is she put a lot of pressure on herself and basically her insecurities came out that she made decisions that were really fucking stupid and then she said I, hey, you're mentally ill like you got a sickness if you're gonna do all of this for me for, for so, a dude so who you have you're not even married or anything you're just gonna change everything up the 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 end gave me the accountability that I thought she didn't have yeah so I'll give you that yeah I'm sorry about yeah what I said I, I think what it really just speaks to I think the big thing with this is that people feel so much pressure mm -hmm. to appeal to the opposite sex and the lengths that they have to go through sometimes have superseded anything we thought was ever possible that's crazy they go on they spend in hundreds of thousands of dollars going up yep. in the knife literally changing their whole face yep. losing any cultural heritage they ever had before yep. whatever your parents today cutting that shit up yeah okay looking like a whole different human being okay mm -hmm. because you know one thing that's really weird about all these is like they all start to look the same yes so you look at a face and you're like i don't know where you're from because your nose is from siberia but your booty from angola i don't and it's a weird combination i don't know where she's from Instagram. <laughs> Might as well. Could be for Atlantis for all I know. Because I don't know any place where everybody's got the same look other than Instagram. So, to me, this is just sad. Like, yeah, she's talking about mental illness and how, like, you have to be so deeply sick. And not, like, in a sense that you have BPD, but, like, there's something really sick in our society where folks have to go through this much change. And people are like, oh, I'm doing it for my... They're not, most of, they're not doing it for themselves. Where are you from? Montreal, Canada? Where are you from? Mobile, Alabama? Where are you from? Filters, Instagram? That, that's that's where she's from. Filters, Instagram. Folks are and that's where a lot of people were from. Folks are not doing it for themselves. They're doing it because there's a beauty standard and they're adhering to it. That's why folks are getting their ass done. Because that wasn't the beauty standard before. I ain't heard nobody trying to get their ass done 20 years ago. In the 90s? None. That, nobody. None. But they're doing it now because that's what's in. So all this talk about doing it, it's like, even if you were saying you're doing it for yourself, you know what? You're pretty much influenced and the idea was given to you by society. So you can't separate the two. So we have to think about like, what is the long-term implication going to be for these people who have these surgeries and get old life? What is it going to be like for them? I don't think we've really reckoned with that. What does a BBL look like in old age? It doesn't take long for it not to look good. It, it don't look, it, it, you don't need 40 years. No, no. To look like a bag of marbles, you don't you don't need a. It's not a lot. Yes. You know the yeah. life expectancy of a BBL is seven to ten years. Whew. 
Hey, man. And uh, then gravity gravitates. You know, so to anybody who's watching right now, people, a lot of folks are considering it or want to get it done or want to look like a certain type of thing. Understand, oftentimes, whatever pros that you have in the short term, don't outweigh the cons that you have in the long term. And me personally, I don't know how you guys feel. Me personally, when I see those faces that are like perfectly symmetrical with the same fucking nose and everybody, I don't find that appealing because it looks really weird to me. Even though I can understand why it's aesthetically pleasing and a lot of guys are going, for me, it just, there's no flavor. It's just, it's unfortunate. And more than anything, watching this video is like, yeah, her situation seems sad. So that's what I was thinking about it. But I was glad she spoke about it candidly and when she said a bit of stuff about the end. And she just, was that yeah, candid? I did it for a dude. That was candid? No. It wasn't candid? I, it's not my definition of candid. What's your definition of candid? Well, you know, all happiness and everything and stuff. It's like, you know, it's a thing. It's not a thing. No, candid normally means like just straight up. That's the definition of candid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when they say candid camera, that's their way of saying like a real reflection of what the person looks like. Taken informally. So it's meant to be like yeah, you're catching yeah, a candid yeah, yeah, moment yeah, of what's happening. Gotcha. So you're not ready for the photo gotcha. kind of thing. So. But anyways. Right. Um, well, you know. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think below. What did you guys think about her story? How did you guys feel? And, and for the ladies who are watching, like, yo, do you guys feel pressure for this? And have Christ. you done it? Have you not? Do you regret it? Do you feel really happy about it? She did Let's all go. of that shit for a guy? Most of them all do all that shit. Ah, bah, man. I mean, hey, listen, most people do all that shit for a girl or for a guy. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's not that abnormal. You're not wrong. That's why I sympathize with her because I'm like, I know plenty of dudes <laughs> who are getting hair transplants, doing whatever for the opposite sex. Fair. You know, whether it's one person in particular or a bunch of dudes, it's like they're doing it because they yeah, feel the need yeah, to, to to be that yeah, thing, right? So, the, yeah. But anyways, we want to hear from you guys. Jesus what do you guys think? Fucking Christ.